When was the last time you sat back and said to yourself, man, this day really isn't going my way? Sometimes it can be real hard to maintain those hashtag positive vibes, but there's one important thing to remember. Someone, somewhere, is always having a worse day than you are. From photo shoots gone horribly wrong to nightmare scenarios that'll make you want to throw in the towel, here are some unfortunate souls who are sure to make you say, it could be worse. What's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? For most people, a nice cup of tea or coffee is at the top of the agenda. It's easy to feel like you're on autopilot mode as you go through the motions, but one poor unfortunate soul probably wishes they were a little more alert after discovering this in their beverage. Oh, did anyone else just gag involuntarily? After making that discovery, I wouldn't just throw the mug away, the whole house would have gone up in flames. Can you imagine swallowing it? Ugh, let's move swiftly on. I don't know about you, but I can think of a million things I'd rather do than jump from a great height while connected to a long elastic cord. Still, plenty of people go bungee jumping every year, and most of them seem to have a great time. Emphasis on the word most. Just take a look at Irishman Martin Farragher, who decided to film himself bungee jumping in South Africa in 2016 using a GoPro. He seems to be having a great time, right? After all, Blue Grand's bungee does claim to have the world's highest commercial bungee bridge. But the more eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that Farragher's precious iPhone slipped right out of his pocket while he was suspended upside down in midair. He may be grinning from ear to ear, but it isn't long until he soon realizes something is missing. In a matter of seconds, this day just became memorable for all the wrong reasons. I just hope he had insurance. It's crazy to think that losing your iPhone can feel like losing a limb these days. In fact, I bet you guys are watching this video on your smartphone right now. While you're at it, you see those like and subscribe buttons? You should totally show them some love and ring that little bell icon while you're at it. That way, you'll be the first to know when I upload more amazing content. Now, let's get back to it. Irrational fears are a part of life. Whether it's as simple as thinking every plane you get on is going to crash, or as ridiculous as imagining a snake slithering through the pipes and into your toilet while you pee, those irrational fears are usually just that, irrational. I say usually because this image exists. Turns out, someone actually had a water snake living inside their toilet. I just hope they spotted it first and didn't mistake its brown coloring for something else. Because being bitten this way would result in an interesting story at the ER. They say girls wear too much makeup these days, but there's only one way of finding out. And that's to perform a WWE-style smackdown and see how much makeup comes off. This hilarious image is what happened when one over-enthusiastic boyfriend decided it would be a good idea to suplex his unsuspecting girlfriend into the bed. She may be laughing now, but by the looks of things, her soul actually left her body and is now permanently imprinted onto the mattress. Just take a look at this guy, who lost his footing while shoveling snow. As soon as he realizes he's mere moments away from toppling over, he starts flailing around like Bambi on ice. The hilarious clip is only 10 seconds long, but it honestly feels like this guy's epic slip goes on for 10 years. His petty attempts to use the shovel to steady himself only results in more ridiculousness, and he ends up tossing the tool aside in an effort to claw back his remaining dignity. Although he doesn't end up actually hitting the deck, the whole thing is still embarrassing enough to make you want to lock yourself indoors for the rest of eternity. If you're a cat lover, there's one essential item you'll need to make sure your feline friends can get about without you opening and closing the door 24-7. A cat flap. 
Duh. But what happens when you own a cat and a horse who coincidentally thinks it's a cat? Well, this apparently. I love how the horse is just standing there, like, what, did I use the wrong door? <laughs> His owner may have her hands on her hips like Mammy Two Shoes from Tom and Jerry, but I bet she's secretly struggling to keep a straight face at the sheer ridiculousness of this situation. They say learning to drive is like riding a bike. Once you've mastered it, you've got it for life. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be on high alert at all times. This terrifying image was posted on Reddit by user Madam Snatch after her husband was driving down the highway when this absolute weapon smashed through his windshield. Thankfully, axes flying about on highways isn't a common occurrence. It seems like this particular weapon may have become dislodged from a truck up ahead, causing it to go bouncing along the road before flying up into the windshield. Amazingly, the driver only suffered minor injuries, and after the handle of the axe hit him in the head, he can't even remember the ordeal. Those Final Destination movies are getting a little too real for my liking. Sometimes, candid photos are the best kind of photos. When you're least expecting it, the camera can capture some truly beautiful moments of unfiltered emotion. Other times, though, a candid photo can be more like this. This unfortunate image was posted on Reddit by the girl in the photo. Alongside the caption, this is the worst picture ever taken of me. I can't say I know her personally, but I must say I'm inclined to believe her. It's the expression that really sells it for me. And the posture is totally saying, yeah, I'm peeing in the pool right now, what are you gonna do about it? With lockdowns all around the world forcing hairdressers and salons to shut up shop for the time being, many of us have had to turn to DIY tutorials to keep our hair in check. After watching a few YouTube videos about how to cut your own bangs, you might feel like you'll be a natural when you pick up the scissors first time. But it's important not to be overconfident. Meet Soo Bin Yang, a Korean web star who learned her lesson when it comes to DIY hairdressing. She had a simple two-step plan. One, pull bangs taut. Two, clip to reveal a picture-perfect fringe. Here's how that plan worked out. <laughs> Yup, that's one mistake that can't be undone. Thankfully, she soon sees the funny side and collapses into fits of laughter. <laughs> she might be laughing the pain away for now, but realization is bound to set in soon enough. Looks like someone's gonna find a new love for the beanie hat. Phew, I thought I was having a bad day, but that's a real corker. Have you ever had an accident at work that was completely your fault? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. But at least snap a photo so you can look back with fondness, like this guy. Turns out, rotary brushes plus really long facial hair are a pretty terrible mix. I guess that's one way to get your beard trimmed for free. You can even see the remains of one Apple earpod poking out from the severed beard. Wired headphones and a beard Merlin would be proud of? Maybe this guy isn't the sharpest tool in the toolbox after all. For some people, finding even the smallest spider or unwanted critter in your house can be enough to make you want to set the whole place alight. But how would you feel finding this instead? This has got to be the worst welcome home surprise I've ever seen. Whatever is beyond those doors is no longer relevant because nothing could convince me to go anywhere near this territorial serpent. Did you know that more than 50 million Americans have experienced various types of allergies each year? There are a few ways your doctor can find out if you're allergic to certain things. It's pretty common to have a couple of allergies, but it looks like these poor souls were allergic to just about everything on the test. I'm itchy just looking at them. And if you thought those were bad, just take a look at this poor girl's results. The biggest blotches you can see are her worst allergic reaction, which was to horses. I guess she was just barn that way. As we've already seen, it's super important to stay focused when you're on the road. Simple distractions, like a phone call or a cute dog walking down the sidewalk, can cause some serious accidents, so it's best to block them out. But I'm not sure how easy this would be to ignore. What the hell? 
In June 2017, Ryan McMurphy was driving on Interstate 85 in Buford, Georgia, when he was shocked to see an unwelcome hitchhiker in the form of an enormous serpent slithering up the hood of his car. Murphy somehow manages to keep his cool while simultaneously filming the event on his phone, which, by the way, is probably not the best idea. But the confident snake isn't deterred in the slightest. What the hell? The snake is all like, hey man, you heading south? I'm eating a mouse for dinner this evening and I need a ride. There's no word on what happened after McMurphy stopped recording, but considering how chilled out he sounds, I wouldn't be surprised if he put the window down and invited the snake in. There's nothing quite as embarrassing as splitting your pants, especially if you're out in public, or you only realize after you've been parading your underwear around all day. But this epic pant split really takes the cake. Seems like this poor marching soldier didn't notice that his junk was showing until the last minute. And the worst thing is, he can't even do anything about it. Guess he'll have to carry on marching with his hand over his crotch until the next opportunity to escape presents itself. Little kids are total liabilities. Let them out of your sight for a second and there's a high chance they'll end up getting themselves into trouble and then cry about it afterwards, of course. Case in point, this charming little lad. You can tell by the pleading expression on his face that he's not at all happy with what just happened. But what is that on his face? Chocolate syrup? There's a big clue lurking right behind him. That lovely dark brown hue is the many layers of fake tan that can be used to enhance muscle definition at physical competitions. That's right, this little dude ran straight into a professional bodybuilder's butt, and he made quite the impression, literally. Snow and ice can be a real pain in the butt, especially when you rely on your car to get places. A significant amount of the white stuff can leave you completely stranded without the proper tools to free yourself and your poor vehicle. Sometimes, it's best to wait it out until the snow has melted altogether. But then again, you could end up like this unlucky person. Imagine rushing out to find your car is the only one in the entire parking lot that is still stuck on a mound of ice. You can put your foot on the pedal as hard as you like. This car is going nowhere. Sometimes, when you're having a bad day, all that's needed is a bit of escapism. Just look at Gregory Heinzman, who's having a great time wandering around looking at exhibits at Washington, D.C. Museum. But did anyone ever tell him not to tap on the glass? Especially when there's a great white shark involved? Everyone knows that if you do, this'll happen. If you watch close enough, you can almost pinpoint the exact moment his soul left his body. Apparently, a sign over this virtual shark tank at the International Spy Museum even reads, touch at your own risk. Of course, he wondered what would happen if he did. And the shock of a virtual shark smashing into the faux pane of glass sends a shocked Heinzman backward onto his hiney. Everyone has that one friend who is constantly on the lookout for Instagram opportunities. No matter where you go, they'll always find somewhere to snap a pic, and it's usually you who has to take it. But this opportunistic selfie grabber learned her lesson when she decided to grab a pic by the ocean. Sure, she managed to get the photo she wanted, but she didn't manage to get away before this happened. Now that's what I call a total wipeout. It brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, smile and wave. Seems like an unsuspecting kid wasn't looking where they were going on their scooter and ended up scooting directly into wet concrete. Using my powers of deduction here, it looks like the scooter only made it a few inches in before the whole thing tipped over, sending the kid tumbling into the mush and resulting in that nice big imprint. I just hope they let it dry that way, so this poor soul can have a forever reminder that, hey, it could be worse. The feeling of trying on a brand new outfit is one of life's simple pleasures, and when you decide to wear your new threads out and about, you want to do everything you can to keep them clean. So, you can only imagine the distress felt by this guy, who tried on a brand new pair of pants only to spill bleach all over them. Anyone else think it looks kinda cool? 
but if you're gonna commit to the whole tie-dye look, you better go ahead and throw some bleach over the other leg too. And don't forget the shoes. Leaving the house to go away for a while is always a little scary. As soon as you're gone, the thoughts start creeping in. Like, did I lock the front door? And did I leave the stove on? Well, someone was in for a nasty shock when they returned from vacation to discover this scene. Not only had the bathroom window been left open, but two pigeons had decided to roost on the ledge, making the shower their own personal poop palace. They're just sitting up there like, oh, you wanted to get clean? Not before you scrub this floor. Wanna hear a joke? Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Massive tree. Massive tree who? Oh. Right, the punchline is more literal than I thought. Let's take a second to spare a thought for this poor homeowner, who probably rushed upstairs expecting to find anything but a giant tree making such a bold entrance through the window. You can barely make out the face of the guy sheepishly poking his head round the window frame, but I just know he's sweating profusely. Who knew tree removal could be such dangerous business? Sometimes your day can go swimmingly until something small happens that makes you want to crawl back into bed and start it all over again. Take this for example. After reaching for a refreshing sip of Gatorade, the bottle tumbles to the ground and lands perfectly upside down with half the precious liquid trapped inside. Seems like whoever took this photo was faced with quite a conundrum. Attempt to flip the bottle back up the right way, inevitably spilling the contents all over the place? or permanently install it as a feature of your home. Which would you choose? They say you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, but precisely how many eggs does that call for? Try 10,500. Seems like someone forgot to strap the egg trolleys in properly while transporting them. That someone was also probably fired soon after this photo was taken. Staying on topic, there's something undeniably satisfying about cracking eggs into a pan and watching them sizzle away, right? Well, one poor soul got the shock of their life when this happened as they were preparing their morning meal. No, that isn't poop. The brown muck you see is actually a very rotten egg. To make matters worse, it was the sixth and final egg cracked into the pan. And that, my friends, is how you know it's time to go back to bed. As we get older, bath time becomes more sacred. There's nothing like lighting a few candles and settling in with a good book for the evening. Plus, a multitude of bath bombs can add that extra pizzazz you didn't even know you needed. That is, if your dad hasn't accidentally used it in the toilet already, is it seriously possible to mistake a bath bomb that bright for some kind of toilet detergent? Either way, whoever is next to use the bathroom is gonna feel like they just pooped rainbows and sparkles like a unicorn. Driving fast with your windows down is always risky. You never know what unwelcome visitors might find their way into the car. And I'm not just talking about an annoying wasp or some discarded litter from a vehicle further ahead. I'm talking full-scale, well, I guess I have to throw the whole car out now situations. Like this one. I know what you're thinking, what is all that? According to the Redditor who posted this heinous image, this is what their dad's truck looked like after it was hit by another truck that was carrying a load of old rotten potato slurry to a feedlot for cows. I bet he regrets having the passenger window down because I can almost smell the stench from here. If there's one thing capable of making your flying experience completely unbearable, it's ignorant passengers like this one. Not only do they have the audacity to use the back of this woman's headrest as a footrest, but they're totally barefoot too. Now just imagine them wiggling their toes and sending a little snowfall of dead skin onto your plate of airplane food. Please accept my sincerest apologies for that mental image. Have you ever had an idea which seemed great at the time, but was actually pretty terrible when you looked back with hindsight? This girl can definitely relate. After she decided to wash her hoodie and hang it outside in negative 9 degree temperatures in the absence of a dryer. I guess she forgot the simple fact that water does this thing called freezing. Of course, it resulted in a hoodie she can now stand up like it's being worn by the invisible man. Who doesn't love a bit of syrup on their pancakes? 
Of course, it's totally calorific, so if you're gonna add it, you might want to make sure you don't go too overboard, like this person has with their French toast. At this point, that plate is 80% syrup and 20% breakfast. Except that's not actually syrup, it's soy sauce. I know we should take pity on this person, but I also can't help wondering why they had this industrial-sized bottle of soy sauce lying about the house to begin with. Spillages on the highway are more common than you'd think. Back in December 2019, police responded to a tractor-trailer crash on the Interstate 40 East exit ramp near Knoxville, Tennessee. When they arrived on the scene, they were relieved to find no one was seriously hurt. But there was another casualty. More than 17 tons of M&Ms. According to candy company Mars Wrigley, the truck was transporting the candy from a manufacturing plant in Cleveland, Tennessee when the driver likely swerved to miss hitting something on the exit ramp, causing the truck to overturn. Although the M&Ms still seemed to be in their packaging, none of their products could be salvaged due to strict quality and food safety protocols. I wonder how many kids missed out on M&Ms in their stocking that Christmas. No one said parenting is easy, but sometimes it seems like kids are really trying to make your life harder. Like when you're at the paint store and your little one manages to drop an entire can of jet black paint on the freshly polished floor. I love how he's looking at his hand like, how could you betray me? I know some stores have a if you break it, you buy it policy, but what about if you spill it, you clean it? I bet this parent was out of that store like a flash. Anyone else suddenly feeling a whole lot better about how their own day is going? If you still need a little pick-me-up, why not check out one of the previous episodes in this series next? Thanks for watching, guys.